In today's video, I got back the first edition Blue Eyes White Dragon. What's up guys, we are back with another PSA return video where I have graded the first edition LOB Blue Eyes that we pulled live on whatnot. You guys have seen the YouTube video most likely. I will be showing it again, you know, in this video so you guys can experience it. So let's go back and enjoy that crazy moment right before we see what it graded. Normal, normal, that's good. The Blue Eyes White Dragon has been pulled! Let's go first. We also have a giveaway for this video. I'll be giving away an ultimate rare dark magician from the starter deck. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below what you think the blue eyes got. We're about to show the pre-grade so you'll be able to see it, you know, all the conditions of it and what do you think it's going to get. Shout out to Ian once again for winning this on whatnot. I decided that I'd send it in for him because this is the biggest poll we've ever had. So uh, he, he covered the costs and everything, even though he didn't even have to do that. So much appreciated, Ian, for one, being a part of the stream and pulling this amazing card. I'm hoping that you do really well. I will say there has been uh, a couple of people have told me that the pop of the blue eyes has gone up to PSA 10. I mean, I, I personally did not think it was a 10 looking at it, but that doesn't mean it's not. I mean, it might be a 10. So I think one of the PSA 10s has been found, the, the upgraded pop. So we'll see. Maybe we have the other PSA 10 inside. It's very exciting. Look, we, we spent years searching for this card. Ian ended up pulling it, which was absolutely crazy. And let's see if he can maybe get the, the crazy 10. I also have another card, Summon Skull, in here that I graded. So hopefully that one will do well because that's actually my card as well. So hopefully that one will look pretty nice. Okay, let's hope we get two 10s today. That'd be pretty cool. So we got a lot of bubble wrap. Okay, let's not spoil it. So which way is... I think the f I think this is the blue eyes, I think. I think this is the Summon Skull. Let me look real quick. Okay, yeah, Summon Skull. So we'll do that one first because obviously Summon Skull compared to blue eyes, not as big of a deal, even though Summon Skull, it is a Metal Raider Summon Skull. So it's kind of a big deal. Summon Skull First Edition Metal Raiders. So obviously Summon Skull is an amazing PSA card. Well, amazing card that we are sending to PSA. Centering on this one looks pretty good. The surface on the top looks absolutely amazing. It's first edition. Back looks incredible. I mean, this card looks like a slam dunk PSA 10, but you guys know sometimes those turn into PSA 9s and then we have to try again. So I think that this personally looks incredible to me. I mean, the centering is not 100% perfect. It's a little bit pushed up. Probably that's it. So, but 60, 40, I think easily hits. So I think this is definitely a PSA 10. There is a little bit of like silvering up there that you can kind of see, but I mean, this is about as nice of a card as you're going to get for an old school card. So I'm expecting a PSA 10. I'm predicting a PSA 10. I did. There is a chance it comes back a nine, but I mean, that's it. I mean, it's nine at worst, but really it should be a 10. So I, I remember thinking this one was super, super clean. So I'm hoping that it gets the 10. I have another sleeve I'm going to put in, in a second, but let's see. There's some crap on the back. What's new with PSA? Unfortunately, there's something looks like in the case. Maybe I can't tell that little dot. OK, the pre grade, I think I had PSA 10. So we're going to see if I was right. Let's just take one more look at it before we look at the grade. It's a pretty looking card. Centering was pretty good on it. Metal Raiders usually has pretty good centering. Let's not spend too long on this thing. We got to get to the blue eyes. So come on, PSA 10. No. No. That is unfortunate. I guess the centering is not perfect. It's not perfect, but it is definitely, in my opinion, it's definitely good enough for 60 40 centering. I mean, if you look at it, it's definitely not like Jim. I'm a Jim, that's the wrong word. A black label is what I should say but it is pretty nice. So that is unfortunate. A PSA 9 Summon Skull. That sucks a little bit. I feel like this one could get the 10. Maybe this will be one that I hang on to try again. Plus it's got that crap in there anyway. So, okay. Unfortunate on that. I do have two big PSA subs that I've sent in like over, I think one was like 50, one was like 60 cards, something like that. So those will be coming back soon. Uh, the, no, obviously not as big as this. So let's see if this blue eyes, look, if this gets a 10, then we're happy. We can be happy because Ian will be going crazy probably. And our second card, I was hoping to have more cards to submit with this. That's why it took me so long to submit this blue eyes. This is the one we pulled on whatnot for Ian. Let's take a look at it. I mean, we don't think this is a PSA 10. I mean, the centering obviously right away is pretty hard pressed to the right. And you got a big giant side over here versus a skinnier one over here. You got to be very careful with this card because it is a first edition blue eyes centering on it. We are going to take it out of the sleeve though for a second. Let's be careful. Surface looks good. Back looks 
pretty good. I think I saw it. Yeah, there's a little bit. This happens on LOB sometimes. There's like a little like, it almost looks like it's wet right there. It's not wet. It's just something that happens in the printing, but that happens a lot on LOB. The centering on the back isn't great either. So, I mean, I'm expecting because it's a LOB blue eyes, who knows? They might even give it an eight, but I think it should probably just be a nine. It looks pretty clean besides that centering. So personally, I would predict a nine. If I was the one grading it, it'd be a nine. It could get an eight. There's a chance that they you know they're like oh big big card you know i mean they don't technically do this this i mean they don't technically grade it lower based on how rare the card is or whatever but when it's a blue eyes i mean it feels like there's a better chance that it gets lower but i think is there any there's not a i don't think there's a is there a line in here i don't think there's a line in this one there was a dark magician i think the dark magician no one of the cards had a had a line in it i'm not seeing a line though so a lot of times these lb foils have a line but i think it maybe get i'm gonna go nine could get an eight but it's gonna be exciting to see what Ian gets because that was obviously an amazing pull and probably the best pull on our channel ever. All right, let's see. If this gets a 10, that's huge. I mean, grading a PSA 10, the centering, okay, here's the thing. We got to go like this. Honestly, the centering's not as bad as I remember. Wait a second. Does this have a chance? Does this have a chance right now at a PSA 10? I mean, I'm getting my hopes up. I'm getting my hopes up a little bit. This could be pretty crazy. The back centering's not great, but you got 70 30 on that, which is like pretty bad. Like, if you actually look at what 70 30 is, it's you know, 30 times two is not 70. So it can be like twice as big on the other side. It's pretty crazy. More than twice. Okay, this is the big moment. I'm um, Blue Eyes White Dragon. We searched from basically the first time I opened LOB was 20, early 2020, first edition LOB, all the way up until 2024 is when we finally pulled it just a couple of months ago. So this would be a great way to just top off the journey of pulling it and then grading it. This would be big. So a nine is also, honestly, nine is what we're really really looking for probably if it gets a nine we're happy and eight we definitely don't want i will say there was an upcharge on this card i think we sent it at regular so it was probably going to get an upcharge unless it got like a seven so i don't know if that actually tells us much but we have high hopes so let's see right here let's reveal the grade of the blue eyes white wait no maybe i can maybe i can do this okay let's see okay let's double check the centering it's pretty off it's not horrible horrible but it is off okay Let's do it. En enough, enough of this. We've been uh, we've been taking too long. Let's reveal it. Blue eyes, white dragon. It's a beautiful surface. It looks great. Let's see. Nine is what we want. Ten, we just lose it. Nine. Okay. All right. That's not bad. That was probably what. That's what I expected. I think I predicted a nine. I said eight or nine, but I was hoping for the nine. I think nine is fair because of the centering. If you look at it, the centering is pushed that way. The rest of the card was really nice. The centering or the surface looked pretty good. Honestly, just a really, really pretty card. So once again, congrats to Ian. This has been really awesome pulling the card and sending it in for you. So what an awesome return. Hopefully one day we'll pull another one and get a PSA 10. Maybe we'll pull a wavy one at some point. Or maybe we'll just grade a wavy one. Like it doesn't even have to be pulled. That'd be pretty cool. So I, I know this is a shorter video, but I figured you guys would want to see what happened with the return for this. I know it's not going to be extremely long. So thank you guys for checking it out. Go, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see more epic content like this of course we're posting every single day on youtube go check out ruxin 34com if you want to pick up some cards some of skull may or may not be on there i haven't decided if i'm going to try and regrade that or not uh but there's a lot of other psa cards and sealed product there as well if you want to check that out shout out to tom Fo show anessa dianda america deutscher kk beats brandon cheney ian musa junior barning robert f changalang adelso Garcia jr and edwin k thank you guys for supporting the channel i'll see you guys in the next one peace maybe i can do this okay blue white Yeah, runescape.